By video request of the writer, today's topic is should you try to do what you want in life or should you try to make money? is again which came first the chicken or the wheel no the first question to answer is does money make a person happier the answer is yes to a point I think when someone's making over like a hundred thousand US dollars a year at that point money doesn't matter that much but before that there's a lot of technology you can get with money that you couldn't get without money and I think technology does enhance people's lives but at the same time, uh, there's this thing called the quality to cost ratio. And I think the quality to cost ratio really sort of diminishes once you're making over $100,000 a year. I think this rule generally holds true for most technology. And if you have a lot of good technology in your life, I think it improves the quality of your life. And I think you can afford most good technology for around $100,000 a year. Uh, I'm going to use my video camera as a final example. Uh, my video camera I paid 200 bucks for, and it, it's a pretty decent camera, but it was used, and if you listen closely in all my videos, you're going to hear this like sort of crickety sound in the background, like this, I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it, that sound, right? Now, I mean, if you spend 500 bucks, that's not that much money, right? You could get a really good camera, no cricket sound, high def, right, and you spend $20,000, that camera versus the $500 camera is only going to be you know, marginally different, I think. Now, there's a problem, of course, which is that a lot of people have to work for money. You don't get money for free. And, of course, uh, most high-paid jobs are going to go based on you know connections, heredity, this type of thing. It's like if you know the right people, well, then you can feel pretty safe getting you know X and X degree because you're basically guaranteed to get a job in that particular area. Or sometimes you don't even need a degree or whatever, right? I would say if you don't have a, some kind of connection, the probability of you making a lot of money for very little amount of work is pretty low. That being said, if you have to work all the time, I would say there's no point in trying to make a lot of money because you're going to waste your entire youth and health away earning that money. So, you know, if by the time you actually have some free time to spend the money, you're, you know, 50 years old, then, well, who cares? Your emotional sensitivity has gone way down, and now you can't even enjoy all the money you've saved up. So, uh, I think it's only worth making a lot of money if you only have to work a normal amount or less for that money. Thus, what I would recommend to the average person, I think, is job hopping, um, unless you have a kid. If you have a kid or you're planning to have a kid, I would say go for a career. If you're not planning to have a kid anytime soon, I would recommend job hopping. And what this is, is you work at a job, you find, you find you know, a job that's fun. That's the key thing. It's a job you enjoy that's fun. You work there, you save up money, and then once you want to spend that money, you quit your job, take you know five months off, go on a big road trip, go on a big vacation, right? And then when you burn that money out, go get another job, repeat right work quit have fun repeat so when you're doing job hopping I would say three things matter the first thing is the social environment uh, do you have a decent boss do you have lots of you know girls at your job if you're a guy Do you have lots of guys at your job if you're a girl you know are the people at your that type of job generally cool can you talk a lot make friends social socialism is important Second thing, of course, is the pay per hour ratio. You want to make as much money per hour as possible. And the third thing, of course, is um, do you enjoy the job? Is the actual job itself stressful? Or is it something you can do for a couple years, quit, and then move on to another job like that, right? Ultimately, you're going to have to find a balance point between money and doing what you want. And I would say for most people, they should 
Of course, lean much further on the side of doing what you want. You really don't need all that much money and work uh, to pay for your stuff. Uh, if you're just a bit smarter about money, you know, don't do any uh, drugs. That's a huge waste of money. Don't buy stupid things that don't bring you a lot of pleasure. Make sure everything you're buying brings you a lot of pleasure. Learn how to enjoy, you know, one or two things in multiple ways, as opposed to buying um, a million things that you only enjoy in one way, right? Improve your uh, pleasure to economics ratio. That's the big thing, right? Figure out how to get as much pleasure for as little money as possible. It's a science. Uh, I can't give you any uh, answer because I'm not you and that's subjective to you, right? But there's always ways of optimizing that. And then you want to work, you know, work less and do more of things you want because uh, in order to be making, you know, a hundred thousand US dollars a year, unless you come from that privileged background, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take like a life commitment. And I don't think it's worth it um, if you have to work hard for it, right? Uh, if it's just handed to you, go for it. But if you've got to work for it, then screw that. You don't need a lot of money to enjoy life. You know, art is cheap. Uh, a skateboard is cheap. Uh, traveling is cheap if you're smart about it, right? Like you can do a lot of really awesome things for cheap, right? The main thing is you need time, right? And if you don't have the time, you can't do anything. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, uh, give me all your money. No, I'm kidding. Um, and uh, if you have a video request, leave it in the comments below. Um, I usually do all the video requests, but I'm pretty slow at doing them these days because uh, I'm getting very heavily involved in politics. If you want to talk to me personally for whatever reason, you can add me on uh, Facebook or something or email me. Uh, my Facebook and email, they're in the video intro. You know where there's the mountain thing and then there's the guy standing there with the painting? There's the, my name's in that uh, sequence there. Ooh.